Okay, so here's my second project for, for today. And again, another form that's not just a canvas. Um, and again, I painted this with gesso. Not sure if I needed to, but just in case. And this is just something I got at Hobby Lobby. You can see that it's a pack of 12 for $7.99. And you can probably find them when they're half off. Or you can use your 40% off coupon. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to try, I'm going to do a dirty pour, not a flip cup. And this is all going to be metallic except for my white. So I've got just my plain white that I already had mixed up. And I'm using folk art paints for this. This is pure gold. This is silver anniversary. This is rose gold. This is top or taupe, however you say it. I never really know how to say that. And this is antique copper. I went ahead and mixed them up. Um, I did not put the silicone in them yet. And I mixed up a little bit more of the antique copper than I did the other ones. I want it to be prevalent. I want it to be the darker shade. I'm going to put a pretty good bit of silicone in these. And I'm probably going to put the least amount of silicone in the copper. I'm going to do three drops in there. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, I've got my white. It's already mixed up. It has silicone in it. I'm going to mix that silicone in pretty good on these. I want to see a lot of action in this one. I want to see the colors just going crazy and lots of cells. And again, this is the first time I've done a pour using these metallic colors. I've wanted to do something with them, and I'll probably end up doing a canvas with them too. I just wanted to experiment with this cross today. We're using my cup from earlier. Rinsed it out, and it should be good to go. There we go. All right, I'm not going to start with the white because I don't want the white to be prevalent, but I want the white in there. So. I'm going to start with the copper. And this is really in no particular order. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just pouring them in there. Alright, I think I'm going to put some white in now. I don't want the white to take over. But I do want, want to be able to see the white. And this is just kind of random. I'm just kind of picking random. I'm not just pouring circles. I'm not just pouring it in there. You can do different shapes. You can pour from higher or lower. You get different results from high or from low. If you push the paint down in there when you pour from high. I want to see a lot of this mixing and interchanging. And I want to see a lot of cells. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Brown tends, I mean white tends to sink to the bottom. Hopefully that's not going to cause this to... Let's see, I'll do this one. And again, no gloves. 
I always forget my gloves, but I think I work better without them. And hey, ooh, that was not good. I can usually just wipe it all off with a paper towel. I want to make sure I've got enough in here. I don't want to have the same thing happen that I did on the butterfly and not have enough paint in my cup. I'd rather have too much. And especially since I'm pouring it, I'm not flipping it. So, i make sure that I, whoops, knocking things off my table. i to make sure that I have enough in there. Because I can use it for something else. I want to give a shout out to my friend DQ who might be watching this from at home in Indiana. She she likes to watch videos and she's not getting to get out much these days. So DQ, I'm thinking about you. Hope you're feeling better every day. Can't wait to come up there and see you and, and hang out. Alright, I think I'm going to finish off with some white and I think I'm going to call that good. I am going to do just a little stir on this since I'm not flipping. And I hope my paint's not too thick. I don't know, I think that might have been part of my issue on my, on my butterfly earlier. but Alright, I'm just going to go in a random... Kind of pattern here. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So we can just get some cells. Let's try the torch and see if we can get something happening here. Well, imagine that. There we go. There we go, yep. I'm seeing some action in there. That's what I like to see. I almost think I might have wanted a little bit more white in there, but who knows. It may, uh... It might come out when I start tipping. Right, I'm going to scoot this back before I start doing that. I'll end up with paint all over me. Put that back. all that wide up there. Gosh, it's hard to watch all of the edges at the same time. I'm liking this. I'm liking the ribbons of white I'm seeing. You see, my, patient, my impatience takes over and I tend to just do it too fast. Get that back up there. And I don't want to lose all that up there, but I'm afraid it's going to tip off. Yep. Alright, then we're going to go back this way. This looks like some kind of stone. I'm not sure what kind. I like it. I really, really like that. And because it's got the Floetrol mixed in it right now, it doesn't, you're not seeing the metallic. It's going to look awesome when it gets dried. I'm going to hit it with the torch one more time. See what that does. But I'm loving that. 
I am loving that. anything else. Oh yeah. Lots more cells. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Awesome. Yes. I'm loving all this in here. I'm not seeing as much of the copper as I thought I would, but that's looking awesome. We're getting a lot of cell action in here now. Alright, and as before, I will show you the end result after it's dried. I'll take my camera down here in just a minute and try to get a close-up view I can figure out how to keep that light out of it. It's hard to see when the paint's so wet that light just kind of reflects, but this is looking awesome. I'll give you a close-up view here in a minute. Alright, so I'm trying to get closer in so you can see and that crazy light is in the way. But look at all that right there. Look how awesome all that is. Maybe out of focus. Yes, I'm loving it. I think it came out exactly the way I wanted. I may have to mix up some more paint. Got another cross ready to go. I might mix up some more paint and put a little black in it this time and see what happens with that. Same metallics um, with black and white. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've got my new cross. I've got my leftover paint from my last uh, dirty pour with using the metallic paints. Mixed up just a little bit of black. I'm going to add to that. I'm going to put the remaining metallic paints in there. Do another pour and see what, what happens with this black in there. I'm going to try to pour from high because I want to get some of that down to the bottom. I don't want it to take over, but I want to be able to see some black in here too. So we'll just see how this, what this does. The other one looks awesome. I'm very pleased with the way it, it came out. And so I think this is going to look good if we can get some of that black in there. One recommendation I have is to not use these little paper cups. They don't hold up. If the paint sits in them too long, they just, as you can see, it's just collapsing because the paint, you know, it's been wet for a while. So my suggestion is to use plastic cups. I know I found some some of the small plastic cups at the Dollar Tree that I've been using. That's what I'm propping up this cross on now. And that's what I started out mixing my paints in. And I saw these at, I think it was Sam's or Costco, and they were a pretty good deal. And I thought, well, hey, I could, you know, I could mix my paints in those. Not loving it. It's just, they just collapse and you can, they're not usable. So, my suggestion is if you can find the smaller plastic cups, like this, smaller to mix your paints in, I think that would be the way to go. I think I've just about got all of this out. I did put silicone in the black, too. I'm going to give this just another little stir, try to get some of that black moving around. I'm going to basically do the same thing I did last time. I'm just going to pour it on and see what happens. No particular order. I might just do a different might just do a different pattern this time and just be random with it. 
I am loving these metallic paints. Loving them. This could be my new favorite thing. I'm liking that. I'm liking the black in there. I still had the white in my cup from before. Not seeing a whole lot of it. I, a little bit over here, but it seems to have mixed in with the other. I'm going to torch this just a little bit and see what happens. And then I'll... Well, this thing will never light on the first try. See if we can get some cells going. And then I'll try to pour it off a little bit. And then torch it again to see if I can get even some more cells. Not loving what's going on in the center right there. Not really sure. Do I want to try to fix that now? Let's just try to see what we can do with it. I mean, I pretty much covered the whole entire thing with paint, just not really needing to. This is where the messy happens. I love the bottom. I don't want to. I'm not wanting to lose this bottom part. I may have to pick up some from down here to where I was touching that, but that did pretty good. I think I might be kind of liking it. The center changed some. And there's a lot of different movement in every different direction. I think I like it. I think I like the center now. So let me try to wipe my hands off. Get my torch back out and see what I can get to happen now. Hey, it lit on the first time that time. I got some stuff. Oh, there we go. Now we got a little bit going on in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'm loving that. Well, I'm going to call that another success. I like all the different metallics in there. And I don't know if you know about this, but, but the runoff that you catch down here, they call that a skin. When it dries, you can actually use it um, to make jewelry with. And one of these times when I'm doing a video, I'll show you how to do that. But I've got some really good runoff from this one and the other metallic one that would make an awesome necklace. So I may use this runoff to show you how to do the how to do the um, jewelry. I do see I think a place right there where I'm still seeing white. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this and put it on there. I don't want any white showing. And right there. Gosh, I got the shakes today. Probably because I didn't eat lunch. I was on a mission today to get up here and, and do some crafting. So, lunch kind of went by the wayside. But, I'm liking that. I'm going to take the camera down. Try to get a little closer so you can see what's going on with that. And I'll do that here in just a second. All right, so I've got my camera down. I'm trying to. Oops, wrong way. Well, I guess this is wide out a little bit. So I'm trying to show you a little closer. And again, that crazy light. Whoops. Look at all the cells there on that though. Absolutely loving it. I'm loving it with the black in it. I can't wait to show you these when they're dry 
and in a different light so that you can see the shimmer. I mean, I can see it, but I know that you can't see it here in the video, but you'll definitely be able to see it when it's dry and in a different light. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day for right now. I may be back later.